an extraordinary thing happened across the span of two days. The Galaga Tournament and Galaga Marathon records were broken on the 26th and 27th days of January 2020. These amazing accomplishments were achieved within the same attempt by none other than Jordan Dorrington. Achieving these world records took years of honing skills and perfect practice, and even after practicing for as long as Jordan has, any attempt at the marathon record would require more than 10 plus hours of near perfect gameplay. Jordan's dedication to chasing the record further proves that no world record is safe. All world records are leased. No one owns a world record. No one. In Galaga, you can't build up extra lives to burn like you can in other arcade games such as Burger Time. After earning the fourth and fifth ships in Galaga, you get an additional 13 ships. One ship for every 70,000 points, up to 980,000 points. Good players know that once you get to that million point mark in Galaga, there are no extra lives to earn. In Galaga, there is no turning off your focus, and there is no rest until you have the opportunity to park on stage zero. And even if you do get to stage zero, which occurs every 256 stage, Galaga Forum rules state that you can only park for five minutes per every hour played. This usually approximates to around 15 minutes of rest. All marathon and tournament attempts in the same way. Once you have lost your last ship, the game is over. Galaga, on its hardest setting, doesn't end because of a kill screen. The game is over when the player dies out, gives up, or in rare cases, the game glitches out and robs a ship. Thankfully, Galaga does not suffer from the programming limitations that plague other arcade titles where world record attempts are nothing more than pressing for just a few hundred more points. Galaga's programming lends itself to be a challenge for those who can focus for extremely long periods of time, and of course, physically endure long periods of time, which eat away at that player's focus. In his marathon attempt, Jordan was able to break past the 18 million point barrier and voyage beyond the 20 million point barrier. This feat is something that no other Galaga player has proof of accomplishing on Rank D Slow Fire. Jordan, it's safe to say that you are the first to cross those thresholds on Slow Fire. But, let's not overlook Jordan's other world record that was attained on this attempt. Jordan lost his double ship several thousand points away from the tournament record. To take the risk of playing a single fighter game with his last ship until the record was broken demonstrates his presence of mind. Jordan's risk most certainly paid off. So, to Jordan Dorrington, from your best friends at Galaga Forum, a huge congrats to the Baron of Bug Blasting, the Count of Crushing It, the Duke of Dedication, the Sultan of Seizing Opportunity, to the new Galaga Kick! Wait. No, 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 no. The title of Galaga King is too generic of a title. That title belongs to and should remain in the 1980s. Now let's see here. Jordan got both Galaga records in one attempt. Jordan is from Iowa, and people from Iowa are sometimes referred to as Hawkeyes. Jordan Dorrington, congratulations on your world record marathon score of 20,980,450 points. And also, Congratulations on your world record tournament score of 9,546,530 points. Congratulations to Galaga's Hawkeye, the Galaga Hawkeye, or whatever you prefer. Now, I hate bringing this up, but I know that it needs to be addressed. I understand that referring to Jordan as Galaga's Hawkeye or Galaga Hawkeye may confuse people into thinking that I am referencing Marvel's Hawkeye, who is known for his pinpoint accuracy. Jordan most definitely has an impressive hit-miss in Galaga, but the reference to him as Galaga's Hawkeye is a nod to the state of Iowa and Jordan being from that state. It's not a reference to his hit-miss in Galaga. 
For those in the greater Galaga community, I think you know what I'm talking about. And finally, to learn more about a funny story about a car with a fifth wheel, take a break from the video games and please read I Was, written by the co-founder of Apple, Steve Wozniak.